Good evening. Hawaii police officers have arrested four people accused of stealing hundreds of pounds of lychee from a Big Island farm. The incident is still under investigation, but tonight the farm owner shares how the community can help prevent similar crimes like this from occurring in a story that's all new tonight. This is not your jumping your neighbor's fence kind of lychee stealing. This is these are professional, serious guys. Troy Keolanui, owner of OK Farms in Hilo, says this isn't the first time he's been targeted by thieves. It's rare to be able to pin these guys down, and they, they come every year, you know. It's a very poor lychee year for us this year, so the value of lychee is very high. So they're going to be more encouraged to go and steal it. And criminals made their move on Thursday morning. They take a lot. They ended up taking close to 200 pounds of fruit out. It's valued at well over $1,000. But thanks to the help of a good Samaritan, a deal in our officer and police, they weren't able to get away. A good person that works at Rainbow Falls saw them coming across the Wailuku River with bags, duffel bags, a group of four people. Next thing you know, HPD was there in force and they, had, they must have had eight officers there. It was three men and uh, one woman, and two of the men were apprehended, uh, well, the, and the woman was apprehended, and one guy got away. While Keola Nui is grateful to have gotten his fruit back, he's still dealing with the burden of it not being safe to sell anymore. It's hard. You know, agriculture in Hawaii, we all know uh, things are tough now. The cost of, of all the inputs to run a farm it, it have gone extremely high. So this kind of a loss really really hits home. His message for anyone who chooses to support local. I think it's very important for people to be connected to and know that the people that you're buying your food from are reputable and that they're, they can be traced all the way back to the farm.